Hello boys and girls. My name is Joe Johnson and I'm the president of your local hospital, Advent Health Ocala. And I get to work with doctors and nurses who get to take care of, of our community and your parents and your brothers and your sisters. Uh, it's fun to be able to work with this team who can care for people. Uh, just so that they can get healthy and back to work and back to their families and back to doing the things that they love to do. Today, I'm really excited about reading to you from the book, Eating the Alphabet, Fruits and Vegetables from A to Z by Lois Ellert. And I want to know how many fruits and veggies can you name? I'm sure you can name quite a few. Uh, but all of us know what a banana is or an apple, but do you know what a quince is? So I'm looking forward to sharing with you just a little bit more about fruits and veggies. So let's read the book. First of all, I really like this picture. It's a, it's a face made out of all the fruits and veggies uh, that make it just look fun. Uh, eating fruits and veggies. Apple to zucchini. Come take a look. Start eating your way through this alphabet book. The letter A is for artichoke and apricot. How about avocado? Avocados look like a vegetable with their green flesh and skin, but they're actually a fruit with a big seed in the middle. Avocados are a form of healthy fat and can replace butter and oils. How about apple or asparagus? The letter B is for blueberry. Or how about Brussels sprout? Or bean? Or beet? Broccoli? And there's the banana. The letter C is for currant and corn and celery. How about cucumber and cabbage, cherry, cauliflower, and of course, carrots. Carrots are an excellent source of vitamin A, which helps you have clear eyesight. And just like they say about rabbits, they don't ever wear glasses, do they? So they must be good for your eyes. All right, how about the letter D? D is for date. And the letter E is for endive, eggplant. And the letter F is for figs. Figs are high in potassium, which is a mineral that your body needs to work properly, that helps your nerves to function and muscles to contract. It also helps your heartbeat stay regular. The letter G is for gooseberry and grapefruit and yummy grapes. The letter H is for huckleberries. Now huckleberries are a wonderful source of vitamin K, which helps create scabs on your boo-boos and is important to blood bone, and healthy kidneys. The letter I is for Indian corn. And the letter J is for jalapeno and jicama. The letter K is for kumquat and kiwi and kohlrabi. Kohlrabi is a German turnip a root vegetable with an array of antioxidants which help prevent diseases. The letter L is for lemons and leek and lettuce and lime. The letter M is for mangoes and melon. The letter N is for nectarine. The letter O is okra and onion. 
and orange. Did you know that the orange, just one orange, packs about 80% of your daily goal for vitamin C? This vitamin is really important for keeping body tissues such as your gums and your bones and blood vessels in good shape and also helps your body resist infection. The letter P is for peach and pineapple and pear and papaya and plum and persimmons and pomegranate. Pomegranates are a sweet and tart fruit that help to keep your stomach healthy. Also, the letter P is for parsnip and potato and pea and pepper and pumpkin. There's a lot of peas. The letter Q is for quince. And quince is a fruit that's similar to an apple or a pear. The R is for rutabaga and raspberry and radish and radicchio and rhubarb. Rhubarb is full of antioxidants, which help protect you from many health-related issues, such as heart disease or cancer and diabetes. The letter S is for Swiss chard or spinach or star fruit, strawberry. And the letter T is for turnip and tangerine and tomato. Tomatoes have all kinds of vitamins in them, including vitamin A, which supports immunity, your vision, and healthy skin. The letter U is for ugly fruit. And the letter V is for vegetable marrow. That's a funny one, isn't it? The letter W is for watercress and watermelon. The letter X is for Shigua. Shigua is the Chinese name for watermelon. Watermelons contain vitamin B1, which helps your body to use food to get its energy. And then the letter Y is for yam, and the letter Z is for zucchini. To learn more about the fruits and the vegetables, in this book, turn the page. Now, boys and girls, I'm not going to read to you all this information about each fruit and veggie, but I do want to just go to one little thing and I'll read this to you. And that's about my favorite word in this whole book. And that's the ugly fruit. And the ugly fruit is a, is thought to be a, a native to the far East and to Jamaica. It grows on a tree and is said to be a crossbreeding of the tangerine and the grapefruit. Yum, yum. Jamaicans pronounce the name oogly, but we'll call it ugly. Boys and girls, this has been a lot of fun. I hope you've enjoyed getting a chance to eat your way through the book, through the alphabet. And I hope you'll enjoy reading for a long time.